This is how I get in the zone of thrift, guys. This is how I do it. Just wait for it. You ready? All right, let's go. All right, <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, today we got a brand new trip to the thrift um, where I basically sift the dig and try to find some vintage clothes and or accoutrements, furniture, or anything to support this reusing, recycling lifestyle for the low in the thrift store. So uh, let's go. All right, guys, we're live in the Salvation Army, and you already know, the main reason I come to the thrift is to get some head, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nice um but no seriously dude i came up on some finds some divine finds look at this you got the vagabonds it's killing me and i maybe you would say like western heavy jacket i love the color scheme it's gonna be like four dollars and fifty cents today so that is a must cop i saw something else in here i don't know what it was short-term memory loss i feel like dory oh it's right here but wait that ain't no problem. That ain't no problem. Huh? That ain't no problem. Uh, dude, you got this Gap Anorak. That's a bar. It's like three dollars. It looks super clean, almost like Marlboro esque, except not at all. So uh, I also got the stable. You know what I'm saying? Full stock polo Ralph Lauren essential crew neck, and then you got some NBA Adidas warm up jackets that are just ill with the huge NBA patch. So you got one right here. You got a second one. This one's even cleaner because it has the stripes down the side. And then you have the two-tone looking like an NBA referee right here with the black and silver. Very crispy. So that's what I found in the first five minutes. We'll see what else is uh, on these shelves. Adidas season. Look at this. Looking like the side of a zebra. That is an awesome patch. It got the little snap on, so easy access for the women's or men, whatever you're into, I don't judge. Adidas all embroidered in the zipper pockets for narcotics. Perfect. Perfect. Who knew the star of Home Alone, Kevin McAllister? I can't read. McAllister went straight to the league, bruh. Kevin? Kevin! Oh yeah, bruh. That's Ralph though. <laughs> it ain't Ralph level. Hey, but real talk, this actually is, man. That's kind of a clean color scheme. Brazilian with the navy. Polo Ralph Lauren in the club. Sweet. Oh my dear God, bro. It's like a Floridian checkerboard. Look at that. Oh my God. Florida Gators chomping on them boys. Orange and royal blue. That is a fireball. So ill. All right, guys. So I got bags full of stuff and they told me there's free chips in here so uh <laughs> i guess we gonna get some chips today what, what we got crunchy cheetos oh flaming hot let's go bro hold up why are we this lit bro hey i'm gonna resell these thrift have vintage.com no i'm just kidding but this is lunch bro i swear if you mix flaming hot cheetos with popcorn bro it is the most delicious snack on earth Bro, we got fire, like, in, in terms of food and clothing. What's up? All right, on to the next. Damn, look at that swag, dude. Shawty. Okay, we're outside the Family Thrift Center. Um, Next spot on the block that we're hitting up today. Oh, wait, hold on. Fit check on feet. You know what I'm saying? Got the Puma RSXs um, gifted. Got short shorts showing off the kneecap. Bob Marley tee. And then uh, green mask to match it. Black and white on the back. All right, class, you know the philosophy, man. Race hell, praise Dale. Look at that, it's senior, baby. Got the GM Dale Earnhardt baseball jersey, skirt, skirt, eight bucks. Yo, I'll grab it. They also have a million um, Cincinnati Bengals jerseys. Like, there's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four. So it just looks like they have a bunch of Ohio stuff, to be exact, um, in here, which is kind of crazy but yeah the only football jersey that i really like is the to jersey even though it is the eagles you know i don't mess with them he looks his way fires it his way there's Alex at the 45 inside the 20 and on the first play at philadelphia in an eagle uniform Harawas takes it 81 yards right on the but uh it does have some discrepancy right here but a little bit of white fabric paint can fix that in an instant so i might might have to grab this the black colorway is just ill dang bro like a cyclone 
do it all night long. <laughs> Is that how that song went? I don't even remember. But bro, look at this cyclone, like Canadian hockey jersey. Uh, Cincinnati Cyclones actually, excuse me. Um, is this like a JV hockey team? Bro, this thing goes hard. It's like a small slash extra small. So if you need it, thrifthavenvintage.com. Perfect size for the ladies or a small man. <laughs> Shout out small men. <clears throat> oh, plush section is popping. Look at this, they got my boy Dino in the building. The original purple dinosaur before Barney came along in the 90s. Bro, my man is fly. Look at that hair. Let's go. Hey, man, this hat goes too hard. It says titties on it. Hey, shout out these milk bags. You dig? Shut the fuck up, bitch. Oh, what is this? Look at that. Full fit in the thrift. Bro, pull up like a shy rack. Savage. You got the trueies on the booty for the children, bro. Like bad kids, bitch, you reckless. Sway. sway. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, we're out of there, man. Got a big old sack. Perfect. Um, full of a lot of great stuff. So that store actually somewhat came through for the short amount of time we was in there. So I'm pleased, man. I'm happy. All right, guys. Quick fit switch. Bro, they have these Adidas in Ross. I don't even know what these are, but they're like 28 bucks. <laughs> And they're just so clean and comfy. <laughs> Yo, I think I'm actually gonna get these dudes. Fire. Dang, I'm glad we stopped here. Look at this. Sour Patch Kid showing the bottom though. Showing the bottom. Dude, family size. This is less than in gas stations, dog. <laughs> Bro, let's get off. <laughs> All right, man, we in here. <sighs> oh, look at this purse. It's like designed for me, bro. Nice typewriter font, but check this out. For all my kings out here, my queens. Bro, if you if you live life referring to people as hey queen, hey king, I don't know, bro. Yeah, I don't know if I fuck with you, bro. It ain't the Middle Ages, man, so come on, get off it. But look at this, you got the Reebok Los Angeles Kings jersey. So clean, man. Codeine! Bro, hometown banger. I really love the amount of sports memorabilia, or I guess not memorabilia, but jerseys that I found. Um, Houston Astros kind of mid-century modern color scheme. Let's go. Oh my damn Limp Biscuit. Holy good God, bro. Soccer swag. Look at this vintage lotto jacket. Oh my God, look at those designs, bro. This is like tribal early abstract expressionism, fam. Let's go. Dang, old school Shaq brand. Bach Boys, huge logo. Oh man, royal blue. Look at the thread count, cutting no corners with the spools of thread. Hey, shout out my boy JT one time. It's gonna be me. <laughs> Bro, this shirt's fire. Bro, look at this. They got Jordan 1s in the thrift. These are actually clean. I mean, they're mids, but they don't look too bad. Holy hell. This looks like my uh, fifth grade science teacher got rolls on the back of his head. God damn. Hey, shout out Mr. Moore though. You're cool. Hey, uh, <laughs> I hope you don't watch my videos. Bro, these are not too shabby though. The gold, the royal blue, the red bottoms. Huh? Um, nice. I'll tell you guys this, man. I'm like a bloodhound when it comes to sniffing out vintage snapbacks. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my God, you got that boy Harriet. <laughs> Jerry right here, but this one is super sick logo athletic diamonds dancing Bruh Dude, this hat is so clean. It still has an immaculate shape to it too 88 boy Yo, This shirt goes dummy. It says size means nothing. Okay Attitude means everything then on the back big daddy of the court of oh, Danny circa 1996 <laughs> Let's go. Oh my tits. Guys, literally, it is a Jersey flurry in this thrift store because we got some icy finds. That boy Gretzky, huh? Wayne Gretzky. Oh, this is the vintage collection too. Bro, what a classic. Then you got the Michigan State hockey jersey. Then you got that boy Modano. Oh, I don't even know what team this is. Is that like New Jersey or something? Bruh another vintage piece sorry if i don't if i'm ignorant when it comes to hockey bro i just i live in the south and then you got another one is that an elephant <laughs> tripping oh hallelujah look at this 
Fresh Prince of Bel Air Steez. This is art. It's that Wrangler. And look, man, all the colors are of these different like cow silhouettes just mounted on top of one another. I guess in some weird mating orgy all over this Wrangler. That's so sick. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I see it. I see it. Levi's daddy. Levi's Strauss lumberjack interior. Come on, man. Acid wash on the exterior. This is the grail of the day. This is what I've been waiting for. Man. Man. Where was it made at? Come on. I need to know. Let's go. Made in USA. I know y'all see that real tiny. Made in USA, pimp. Already pimp. Let's go, pimp. Ooh, the modern day Uncle Rico swag. Bro, by Mirage Brain, you got the... Hoxonville Jaguars. Look at that dude just diving at some prey. Hey, shout out Tarzan, man. Made light work out of the Jaguars, just like every other NFL team does. Hey, this is really cool though, man. And I love the, the alphabets in the buttons. I mean, come on, man. Come on. Look at this, even more Ohio stuff. You got the Taz Ohio crew neck, and then another Hard Rock Cafe. Save the planet. Earth is my planet. Earth is my planet. Hey, recycle these clothes, man. Um, kind of a light charcoal gray black. All right, guys, we're about to dip out this store, but guys, you already know the drill. Jersey Jubilee today, man. Charles Woodson, white Raiders jersey, Seal Olympics, 1988, is that what this is? Yes, sir. And then check this out, man. You got the Peyton Manning, super old school, logo seven jersey. Have to one time, man. And holla at your boy. All right, guys, so we're back in the crib right now. And I just wanna thank each and every one of you guys for watching this video. Obviously, I haven't been releasing content the past week because of the George Floyd situation. It's just fucking insane what police are still doing to black people in America. It just is fucking whack as hell. And obviously, you guys don't need me to say it. However, I'm gonna say it, bro, so you guys know where the fuck I stand. But yeah, man, I'm glad the three other cops got arrested. Now, all we need is a conviction, dog. But uh, yeah, dude, I mean, I went out to a protest. It was really peaceful, really lit in Houston positive which is always good and just to any of you guys who want to go out please be safe is all I'm saying and also bruh if you have friends that are trying to rob a place or take anything or advantage of the situation at hand please by all means tell them to not do that bruh it's just like these police officers you feel me like if they see their co-worker, their co-officer doing some bullshit, they sit silent and let this shit happen. Do not sit silent in any situation, my guys. That's all I want to say, bro. Anyways, man, I love y'all. Y'all want any clothes, thriftandvintage.com. You guys know the drill. We're going to be back to regular scheduled programming this week coming up. So just sit back, hang tight. It's going to be dropping. But yeah, I just want to give everyone some time to marinate on the situation and deal with it however they felt personally fit to. Anyways, I love you guys. Live the dream. Eat that ice cream. I'm locked, I'm loaded. Until next time, Daddy Can Too is out. Killing these songs, leaving them bloody life. I rooster. And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to.